What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more One Piece. Super excited to be continuing Thriller Bark. Before we get into anything, we do have a couple of questions over here on the Q&A section of the Discord. If you guys don't know, I have a section in the Discord. You guys can ask me anything related to whatever shows I'm watching, and I'll try to answer it during the next reaction of that show. First one comes from Kevin, who was an avid question asker. Thank you, like always. He says, now that you've been introduced to more Devil Fruits, if you were a common low-ranking Marine or a regular civilian, what devil fruit would you least want to have to deal with? That's a good question because it doesn't put me in the shoes of like Luffy or someone else who has a devil fruit who can combat devil fruits. Who would I least want to fight? It sounds kind of like a cop out because I keep thinking how broken they are. Obviously, there's some paramecias that are broken, but any of the Logias as a normal person without like Blackbeard specific power, any Logia I think would be damn near impossible to deal with at all whether it's smokers nls crocodiles aces but even of those four i'd probably choose nl that boy turning into lightning and just lightning in general like if he wanted to he could have killed so many more people on skypea so the one i would least want to fight or be involved in capturing would definitely be the lightning lightning whatever it was called fruit which would be nls that's a good question Next question comes from Master, um, who asks, imagine yourself as a pirate hunter and your target is Monkey D. Luffy. What plan would you make so that you can capture, kill Luffy, plus you can use any devil fruit you've seen in the story so far to help you with your plan? Note, you are solo. That means no help from others. You are on your own. Also, you guys are having me think with these questions today. My goal is to 100% kill or capture Luffy. I can use any devil fruit so far. I think, I don't know how I would get my hands on it. I would obviously, just to combat his, because everything revolving around Luffy, and, ah, but no. Damn, that's a good question. I think I would have to choose the Dark Dark Fruit just in case something happens and I need to fight him. I think it's a great counter to a lot of Devil Fruit users. That's why Blackbeard wants it so much. Or that's why he has it. Um, but the way I would capture slash kill him, I would want to capture him, that bounty, you know what I'm saying? I would definitely take one of his friends, Nami, Chopper, because they're theoretically the weakest on the team, hostage, and then use that. I sound so evil and dark saying this. I don't mean it like that. I mean, I do, but I don't. Um, I would have to take Chopper or Nami hostage and then using them as hostage bait, or I would bait Luffy into an area in which I can trap him with Sea Prism Stone. Because so far, that's been the greatest counter to a lot of people, whether it's Robin with her handcuffs. Whether, you know what I'm saying? Sea Prism Stone is just broken. And once I have him captured, hopefully that's the end of it. But if not, and he somehow gets out and we need to fight, I think the Dark Dark Fruit would be able to best him just because, you know, it sucks in those powers. He's not going to be able to gumu gumu no more. And then hopefully I can just beat on him. That's a hard question. I would need to like actually come up with like a really long and, and complicated strategy, but all just off tops of the head, that's what I'd probably do. Good question, Master. Good question. Um... Remember, if you guys want the full uncut versions of these episodes, as well as up to 16 episodes early access, check out that Patreon down below. We are live on Twitch reacting to all these episodes. So come on over, leave a follow, twitch.tv slash Darius. It is a vibe over here. It truly is. Check out the other social medias while you're at it. Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all at Darius. I'm not going to waste any more time. One Piece episode 361. Let's do it. All right, this is 361. Let's do it. Usopp, Soga King, whatever you want to call him, putting in work. Especially, I'm not going to say Perona's OPOP, but she has a very strong power. So shout out my boy Usopp. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shout out. Now, how are we going to deal with this? Are we going to... Those cuts were crazy. Are we going to send some exploding stars and blow her real body up? That's a little... A little crazy when she does wake up will this ghost with her conscious dissipate and it'll go back into her main body that's true you need to slide back in your body asap in order to wake up and move from this did he miss
So she is trying to avoid physical harm. She went back into her main body. Understandable. Like I said, Corona going against Usopp is kind of a crazy fight because she has some very strong abilities just in general. Speaking of strong abilities, can Gecko Moria's Shadow Shadow is so insane. I feel like I'm fighting a heartless boss in Kingdom Hearts. He's not even phased or worried at all. And, oh, hey. <laughs> and I was going to say, even if you are able to damage it in any sort of way, it just dissipates into a bunch of little shadows and goes back into itself. You know, it's so broken. It's so weird hearing Luffy's voice in something like that. He's looking for his pirate hat. Gotta fit the part. Instead of a straw hat, he's wearing a stair hat. There are three entities on this island ship right now that want to be king of the pirate. I love how you can see the swarm of birds following him. We still have a uh, hogback. Uh, and his uh, Zoro and Sanji zombies versus it's hard to speak in English sometimes versus Robin and Chopper This goes to show how strong Zoro is one of the only times we've ever seen someone pull apart Robin's hands Damn Damn I'm Saying damn for multiple reasons right here I hate his laugh. Whoa, whoa, don't be roasting my man like that. Sanji's trying to put that footwork on the chopper. Unless Chopper takes a rumble, how are we going to... Because Sanji zombie is real strong. So is Zoro zombie. Animation's kind of looking real smooth, too. Okay, good moves. Yup, let's purify this man. Force open his mouth with a couple extra hands. Come on, throw it in there. This would make this fight so much easier. Just toss it in. This is relates to what Gecko Moria was saying. The longer they're in the zombie body, the more and more their core of them fades. That's why he was saying Ors eventually will lose all his loofiness. Push, 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 push. And we're cutting back over to Ors. Looking for the cannons. This is what we're talking about. He's slowly losing his loofiness. King of the what? Mm, wow. Wow. Now he's thinking of Moria. Oh, hell no. There's no way we're going to have Ors be an actual enemy to us. I liked him as Luffy much better. Corona, Moria, and Hogback's laughs are all crazy. Wow. I am not liking this. And this is why Luffy needs to expeditedly eat up Moria. Because Ors, like, or, like Moria said, Ors is on his way back. Fuck, man. I am not liking these developments so far. Okay, okay. This makes things a little bit more intimidating, I won't lie. Back over to Perona v. Usa. Was that uh, an impact dial? Absorbed it? That is genius. And he didn't miss. He did that on purpose. 
Usopp's the greatest, greatest liar there is. Honestly, whoever he uses that impact on that he just absorbed is going to be a fucking hit. I won't lie. Hell yeah. Lieutenant Gentleman Hippopotamus. That's that impact. The whole brunt of that explosion that was meant for us. R.I.P. Gentleman Hippopotamus. Oh yeah, that would hurt like crazy. My man, Usopp. Looking quite gangster. They had to hit the four shots on him coming up. Come on. What is that, like an actual cannonball? Shining black star? Oh, hell no. Nah. I'd way rather be blown up than that one. You guys know me, I hate bugs. Oh, hell no. That's like how they got rid of a uh, present Mike and my hero during the, like the, the finals, the testing. Bugs are, can be anyone's weakness, no matter how strong you are. Not the 10 ton hammer. Okay, this man is outdoing himself every time. I don't think that's obviously 10 tons, but he's going to shock her into passing out, maybe? With the cockroaches plus the threat of a 10 ton hammer? My unparalleled brute strength. I mean, he's selling it. He, that motherfucker looks like it's 10 tons. That is quite the shot. Usopp with the 10 ton hammer. It was a big ass balloon, but the impending scariness of that hitting you, plus the cockroaches, plus her being trapped, definitely knocked her ass out. It's quite the shot right there. My boy Usopp. Go crazy, King. Do your thing. It was a balloon, too. <laughs> They're not even real cockroaches? Oh, thank the Lord. <laughs> That's the one thing you can never challenge Usopp to. Of all of our fights so far, Usopp's the first one to win? Not the heel click. Shout out, my man, bro. Round of applause for you. Sniper King. Ooh, this is the fight I really wanted to see. Oh my god, did my man get sent off the tower? Is Ryuma like that? Also, remind me in chat. He said... He said his uh, sword is one of 21 around the world of this type of sword. What was that again? Oh, hell no. That's what I'm saying. You know you would not have been able to beat this guy. What the f*** is going on? You ain't got the fire ninjutsu? Okay, that episode went by real fast. I won't lie. Alright, this is the next episode. 362. I won't lie though, that sword Ryuma has looks. I love the purple and pink design of it. It looks insane. I love the design of Zoro swords too. Oh, we actually get to see what happened? Okay. Okay, so we do get to see how we turn it into blue and fire mode. He has just the hilt. <laughs> yeah to be honest to be honest emotions beyond my recollecting he's feeling some shit right now oh my god just the shockwave from that impact is destroying this room 
Oh, bade, Kudroit. Zoro is also nice with it. He did his own slash. Damn! Demon Magma Bear. I love when he uses the animal names for his attacks. Ooh, those are some great dodges. <laughs> that could have ended you. I always hear I always love hearing Rashomon. I think of Octagawa, but He said he Zor he said Ryuma blocked Zoro's Oh Bro, what the fuck? This is my first time. I know Kaku said he was the best swordsman in CP9. This is my first time seeing like Zoro go against an actual legendary swordsman. I love this fight on top of the tower we're on. The music's kind of going crazy right now, too. I love how both of them are so strong with their sword attacks, whether it's a thrust or a slash. That literally is a physical object that they can throw. Trying to get some high ground. He's literally got a sword gun. And I love the scenery on the sides of this roof. The whole building is just demolished because of their fight. Uses that split second advantage while he sheaths the sword to cut him and the tower in two. The one sword style. Soaring dragon? I love the way they animated that. We actually were able to get an attack off on him. But it looks like he got us as well. That's what's making him burst into flames. This is now where we're caught up from. That roaring dragon, whatever Zoro just said, was insane. Damn, man. I have lost. I wonder why his wound burst into flames. Is that all we needed? Is just inflict one wound on him? He said, once a legendary swordsman once wielding the Shusui, it would have been happy to have you as its master. Because he's saying he lost? Wow, Zoro actually won that. But we get the legendary sword, the black sword. I seeing him and how insane he is, men, mentally and physically, makes me want to watch that one shot. And Brook's shadows return to him. So the one shot's about him. So do I get to see him as a human? Oh, I need to watch that one shot as soon as I'm done with Thriller Bark. I'm happy for you, Brook. Samurai of the Wano Kingdom. As his body completely just burns away. That was so insane. It makes me so want to watch that one shot with him. And it makes me want to get to Wano super bad. I'm going to watch the one shot when I'm done with this arc of Ryuma. And then after that, I'm going to go back and rewatch the duel between Zoro and Ryuma. I think it'll enlighten me a lot. Yeah, what the hell? These zombies are crackheads. Yeah, you're a crackhead. Okay, Hilden's the only smart one. If it's not a spoiler, I would like to know which 
general zombies are lore relevant, like after the arc or when we're done, if it's not a spoiler. I just love the world building in this show so incredibly much. Yeah. And here we go. I actually really like the way they animated that. They're getting pummeled. He didn't pummel them. He stopped mid barrage, realized that he has to go back to Moria. As we cut back to Moria. The fact that I get what he's saying. Especially because he's so has such strong subordinates and he creates such strong subordinates, but you have to be able to do something yourself. How are we gonna beat this shadow though? This thing is so ridiculously broken. He's not lying about that, Ors. I want Luffy to whoop his ass, genuinely. Oh, that episode went by quick too. Gecko Moria's gotta get his ass whooped. All right, this is the next episode. This is 363. Push, 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 push. It's a good signal that they're losing more and more, right? Sanji would never. That, that means a lot coming from how good hearted Chopper is. In an ethical way. I like Chopper's view on that. He still gave you the benefit of the doubt. But now he sees you are rotten to the core. So oh, fuck you, Hogback. Hell no, it's not. It's a little more than just ideals. Yeah, you should get lectured on medical ethics. Good. Yeah. True. Push, 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 push. Mm, I'm more on Chopper's side. You're merely reanimating the dead. They're not brought back to life by any means. Sindri is kind of weird, though, because of how much she retains of her old self. What, are you just proving that they're immortal? That's kind of fucked up. I thought you, I thought you liked Sindri. Oh, hell no. Yeah, that's deranged for someone to make you do. I'm glad Chopper's getting as pissed as he is. Are we finally going to get Sindri's actual story right here? Victorious Sindri. Okay. So he was a fan in love. Whatever ailment she was dealing with, Hogback helped her so she can go back to being a stage actor. He was out there killing it. Was it an accidental death or did you kill her though? Did she reject your love? Like, how did this go down? Oh, she had a man. And you were not that man. Interesting. So it was a legit stage accident that killed her? Gecko Moria? That 
シンドリーを復活させることを条件に俺はこの船に乗った。But whose shadow is in her body? Because I don't think Sindri is alive. He literally robbed her corpse from the graveyard. Yeah, my man is a, a bit deranged to say the least. Stole her corpse from the graveyard where she was lying at rest and bend her to my will. This is a demented way of love, we'll say. Very demented. Very sick and twisted. So the shadow he put in her is the one who didn't like plates versus old Sentry wasn't like that. Yeah, this guy is sick. Crazy to think there are actual people like this. I'm glad Chopper is getting as furious as he is. Especially, yeah, you love her and you're forcing her to do just. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? Just like how Zoro is going to be the best swordsman in the world, Chopper will be one of the best doctors in the world. So, you know, shut your mouth. She's back to her plate attacks. Jesus. What is my man gonna do? Plates are definitely can cause some cutting. That glass, not good. We're gonna have to purify all three of them Zoro, Sanji, and Sindri. Yeah, normally I love Chopper's innocence and his goodwill, but I give Chopper full blown permission to beat this man hog back to death. Maybe not to death, but uh, real close to it. Mm. We know she was close to her family. Love how they show it all fucking gray and decrepit. You are literally a puppet. I'm, I like the way they visualize that. That's exactly how it is. Yeah, there's more to being. Yeah, there's more to being a human than just being able to move. You know. Talk your shit, Chopper. Uh-oh. Was he able to connect to her in some way? Dogween Jigoro. Damn. So close. So close. This is exactly how Zoro and Sanji would be, though. They'd be beefing in the middle of the fight. But even though they're fading in their terms of their straw hat personalities, there's still some essence there. Whoa! They're actually kind of going crazy! No orders from you, Hogback. <laughs> I like that water and oil they just cannot mix <laughs> and of course they're gonna take that as their new orders and uh, Sanji and Zoro are now out of here Hogback I thought you said you were a genius again they are deranged. Uh-huh. It is very majestic music. I love the faith in the captain. Sindri actually going to decline? Is she crying? Forcibly going against her orders. The way the tears light up the heart area a little bit. The 
puppetry is stopped momentarily. It's like her, it's like Sindri's soul in there is preventing the shadow puppetry to, to happen, you know? He still has some sentience over her body. That's very interesting. And we're back over to Moria and Ors. Oh god, bro. This is all just one big shit show. If only and Luffy had just a baseball or a, an amount of salt right now. This, this is their first time meeting. This is you, my boy. Very interesting. Very interesting. All right. This is the final episode of the session. 364. Hogback is just sick, man. He is twisted. You exist to serve your master. That should not be how anything finds meaning in their existence. There's a lot of uh, gray area in that, you know? That's what I'm saying. Medically, nothing is proven, especially when it comes to situations such like this. And now, she was only able to do it for a split second, you know? Very much reminds me of Ghetto. Alright, let's put some salt in her mouth. Don't let him get away. Give this man like a body slam or something, Chopper. He deserves an ass whooping. Yeren, oh. That's kind of handy. I never know you could do that. What are we about to do going so high with this man? Hit him with the... What was the move Sasuke used? Or Rock Lee. Hit him with that. Just, ah. R Robin Chopper Suplex. Oh my god. That's going to knock Hog back out. Horse is ginormous. Mm. This is not good. <laughs> Luffy's going to have a, a beef with his own personality. Now, if there's any zombie that we're going to be able to relate to and break through to their will, Luffy has got the strongest will of anyone, you know? Shout out Sindri. But maybe he could too. Just remind him of Shank, stuff like that. He has their wanted posters just plastered on his body. He's like, one of them is right in front of me right now. Mention Shanks, mention Ace, King of the Pirates. Hopefully he can break through a little bit, you know? Amoria's being a pussy. Bell, knock him with his head. Hit him with the suplex for the ceiling caves in. I hope the rest of the ceiling falls on him. Let's look at the size of this boy. Poor height. That's the zombie he decided. You guys were already talking about how Sanji and Zoro zombies were super strong. She gonna obey or disobey? I Loki would be cool with Ors crushing him to death. He's one of the people who causes more harm in the world than good. Sindri's in there fighting. Victoria Sindri's not letting that happen. But what's going to happen? We're just kind of watching. <laughs> That's the actual Victoria Sindri right there. So the soul, even when the body's been dead for so long, can peer through. Is this the end of Dr. Hogback?
Is that the end of Dr. Hogback? I would be very happy if so. As Ors is just now... I wonder if he's not going to go for Usopp. Just because the wanted poster has Soga King on it technically, right? Yeah, that's not him. Or is it him? As we cut back over to Absalom and uh, Sanji. Ors is just causing devastation everywhere. He's going to break through the ceiling to every room. I like the moral quandaries sometimes of the show, you know? And just like that, Absalom turned on me invisible and they're gone. You got to get her back. You know you're not going to let this happen. He's going to do some fucking sick and twisted shit to her too. Absalom's got the what the clear clear fruit. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. How are we gonna defeat Ors? Cause I don't He's just causing too much havoc and devastation to everyone, you know? <laughs> Made my hair stand. But you do. He had the double joke on the joke, you know? I made my hair stand. Oh, wait, I don't have hair. Oh, wait, I do have hair. I cannot wait to see Zoro use that sword for the first time. Shusui. I was about to say, Frank, you got to knock this dude out. Gave me goosebumps. Oh, wait, I don't have skin. Brooke kind of hit that. Whoever's the voice actor for Brooke is very talented. He is totally after us. Yeah, so I'm hoping we can regroup as a squad and maybe take him down together. Or Luffy just has to win his fight. That's what I'm saying. This is not a good scenario right now. It's weird hearing Luffy's voice actor say Mugiwara. We need Nami to wake up and handle Absalom. Maybe kick him in the nuts or something. I'm wondering the same thing, Sir Frankie. Okay. I don't know if fun is the term I'd use, but we're getting interesting. That's for sure. All right. Uh, those episodes were very good. I loved Usopp and his newfound confidence with Soga King defeating... Corona, especially with the way he did it, how he said no one can beat me in a game of negativity and lying with the fake cockroaches and the 10 ton hammer, all that just super right up Usopp's alley. Love it. Zoro with Ryuma. Like I said, I cannot wait to watch the one shot, get a little more info about Ryuma as a person before Brook Shadow was in there and maybe some of his sword wielding activities back in his heyday. Um, and then I'm going to come back and rewatch that duel because I definitely think it would give me more insight on what's going on. But I loved it. I loved how it was so close yet. So like, I can't believe Zora won that. And we got Shusui. Such an amazing legendary sword that we just got. Super happy about that. Um, Sanji was not able to best Absalom. He got Nami back. Chopper and Robin versus the Zoro's uh, zombie and Sandy zombie and Hogback. I like the moral quandaries we're having and Hogback was like, don't lecture me on m medical ethics and stuff like that, even though he's a sick and twisted individual. Um, I really enjoyed Sindri, her actual soul persisting a little bit and stopping what's going on. It really does make you ask the question, what is a soul? How is it tied to this? You know, is this ethically right it can't be especially if a soul persists you're using that person's body to host another soul and as a puppet like nah this cannot be the case so we have to stop these men we have to beat moria so everyone's shadows can return brook got his shadow back which i really enjoy but overall we are making progress every time we come up on the roller coaster to the good parts now it's like damn ors is now causing havoc it's not looking too good but hopefully we go right back up and we beat this and I think another week and we'll be done with Thriller Bark. I'm super excited. 
super intrigued what's going to happen with Moria once we beat him because we really need to. There's a lot of questions I'm going to have, that's for sure. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed these episodes, this reaction. If you did, please leave a like on this video. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. Check out the Patreon, 16 episodes early access, as well as the full uncut versions. Um, like I said, follow on Twitch because we're always here watching these live. It is always a vibe. I appreciate y'all immensely. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.